My husband is married to a porn star. <laughs> How do you keep a marriage strong in that kind of scenario? You know, this stuff out there today, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me on what we are seeing out there today. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's crazy because there's so much out there right now. There is so much out there right now. And a lot of us don't really know what's actually happening unless someone has a video camera or some kind of device to record what's actually going on and then it gets posted on social media and uh this is how many of us are finding out how a lot of this stuff is going on uh today around the world and you know the bible does tell us clearly that um the times will become more wicked um things will become crazy the bible says that that uh that sin will become rampant you know um and that the love of many will begin to grow cold and we're there we're there already with with everything that's going on and everything that we're seeing and how people are choosing to believe and and and, and proclaim god today um it doesn't surprise me it doesn't um but what it does do is it definitely, um, it's definitely a worrisome because a lot of people are falling for a lot of this garbage that's out there, especially on social media. Uh, I've been having a lot of live streams on a couple of my platforms. One of them is Facebook. The other one is TikTok. Um, I definitely want to start live streaming a little bit more. On here, And if that's something that you guys would like to definitely see, let me know in the comments um, because I would definitely love to come on here and get many of your guys' support along with questions that you may have, uh, you know, whatever. However God may lead us into this journey because we're in this journey together and we got to get this information out there. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to bring you guys this information, to let you guys know what is taking place. And I'll be honest with you, most of the time, most of the time, I would say three quarters of the time, I'm not asking for this information. It just comes to me. And so immediately I receive this as though God wants me to talk about it because it's not right. And this is definitely defiling to him. It is unpleasing to him. It is an abomination. It is a mockery in the eyes of God. And we have to keep these people accountable of what's going on. We can't just let this happen. The body of Christ can't stay silent anymore. And, and, and we have to come in an agreement. We have to start standing against this. We got to start preaching against this. We got to start rebuking this and, and, and praying and fasting against these things. Because let me tell you, um, it's not going to get any better. It's actually going to get a lot worse. And the Bible says that in the last days, things are going to become very difficult of those of the faith. Now, I know in my heart that I am a convinced and persuaded Christian who truly believes and follows Christ. Now there's a lot of things that I still struggle with. There's a lot of things that I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to, to, to try and stop doing, to, to challenge myself where God is trying to lead me. Uh, um, I'm trying to build myself in certain areas of my life where God wants me to my prayer life, my devotional life, my, my study life, you know, things like that. And, you know, the Bible says in Philippians 1, 6, that to be confident in this, that he who has begun the work and you will complete it on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, which means we're going to be an ongoing pro uh, progress while we're here on earth. And so knowing that 
that we're going to continue to be um, an ongoing progress. We're going to constantly be challenged to change. Um, we got to be the change. We have to change. Now, when we see these kinds of videos um, that I'm going to be showing you here and what you saw in the beginning, um, this is this is like <laughs> this is like no other. You know, there, there's stuff today of transgenders holding church services now. Um, uh, they're running churches. Many of them are ordained ministers now. They're preaching behind the pulpit, uh, dressed in, in drag, um, singing songs, worshiping the Lord, um, preaching and teaching this doctrine of demons. Um, they have a congregation. They have buildings. They have support. Um, they have tithers. I mean, you name it. And it's out there. It is out there. And now... In this particular case, with this person, um, it doesn't surprise me <laughs> um, that this person here, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up here. I'm going to bring this up. And um, it's definitely, so this person here, her name is, I believe it's Angela, right? Her name is Angela. And she has a church with her husband, right? She has a church with her husband, and they pastor a church in San Diego, California. And this girl is an active porn star. She is married to a man, and she is... In the industry still, she is still sleeping around. She still has a job working as a porn star, okay? Here is a little bit of, of the article um, that I just showed you. And uh, I wonder, I'm just wondering if this is uh, the one here. Uh, let me see if I'm giving you the right one. Um, let me see. Let me pop up this other one here. I might be giving you the other one. Okay, so yeah. So the other one was the right one. So this one, this one here, uh, the headlines that Christ followers probably hope we've stolen from the popular uh, Christian uh, satire site. The Babylon Bee is in fact a very... A very real living faith church located in little Italy in downtown San Diego, California describes itself as a Christian charismatic church and is pastored by two entrepreneurs. One who is a porn star, pastor Steven and Angela Dela Cruz met while attending Bethany college of Assemblies of God, a Bible college where Stephen earned his bachelor's degree in theology and uh, the, the uh, gosh, I can't even say that, the, theological studies. Angela is an ordained minister who is also open about actively working as an adult entertainer, entertainment industry, Okay. The self-titled entrepreneur celebrated their 12th wedding anniversary this past June and have spoken openly about how their marriage works on their YouTube channel, which is the home church videos snippets of Angela promoting her industry work. So this, so they have, they do live, uh, um, um, they live stream their services. They talk about a lot of different things. They talk about marriage. They talk about a, a lot of different things. I've gone and I've, and, and, and I've looked at some of the videos that, that they do. And um, she has a pretty big platform. She's got over 7,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. She also has a Twitter account. Um, I don't know how many people there she has 
following her. But I can only imagine uh, this kind of industry, this kind of lifestyle, along with the LGBTQ community, would really, really, really get behind this kind of stuff and support it and say, why not? But there is everything wrong with this. Now, I'm going to play a video to you, and I want you to check out what um, she had to say here. So let me find the video here of the pa Pastor Steven uh, introducing his wife. Here it is. She's known by a lot of different names out there, but I know her as my pastor. Let's give it up, guys, for Pastor Angela. Awesome. Yeah, so um, she's not. Well, anyways. Okay, so here is uh, another video of them where they are introducing who they are um, what they're about and what they're doing. I kind of edited it a little bit to get rid of some of the other stuff that they were talking about. But this is where she basically describes who she is and what she does. Hey everyone, I know this is new. We are going live with my husband, Steven Dela Cruz. How's it going? So we're gonna try to do this YouTube live together. Uh, I know we were recording it before, but this is going to be our first live and hopefully more in the future. And Let's turn it down a little bit so that it's not like you have no clothes oh, okay. on. Oh, <laughs> okay. Because she has clothes on. She has clothes on. <laughs> so uh, we actually want to talk about what is it like that my husband is married to a porn star? <laughs> and um, how do you keep a marriage strong in that kind of scenario? Yeah. Um, I don't think you can, <laughs> but it is what it is. And, um, he's pretty comfortable with it. Uh, they do give a bit of a testimony on how they met and, and different things like that. Um, he obviously doesn't have a problem with it. They both went to Bethany Bible college where they both got their, uh, theology uh education uh he got his bachelor's degree she became or an, an an ordained minister while she was doing what she was doing how that happened i don't know and and how they missed the sexual immorality along with the abominational uh lifestyle i mean you name it i mean they, they they're well known with scripture uh, but it doesn't seem to phase what they're doing. Um, here's another video of, of something that they did uh, during one of their Christmas uh, live streams. Now, um, I want you to pay attention what they decided to wear as a costume to post this video. Yay! Hey, you guys! How's it going? <laughs> All right, so this is our first Live by design YouTube live with my husband. Yay! Yes, we went from going doing podcast audio yes. to video recording to now forget the podcast audio or the video. We'll just go live. <laughs> yeah. So which is great, but this is the challenging part is that now it's live. There's no editing involved. <laughs> <laughs> so all of my mistakes you're all gonna see. Yeah. And that's a fact. Um, look, I don't. I don't know what to say. Um, but I. But I do know this. Um, there is a lot of scripture that talks about this. Um, that brings this kind of behavior out. Uh, you know, there, there's there's some really hard uh, verses that are out there that definitely talk about. Um, you know, the lifestyle, uh, when, when we look at, um, scriptures, uh, like, uh, first Corinthians six eighteen, the temple is the Holy spirit. We read there in first Corinthians chapter six, I'll go ahead and start reading from verse 17, but he who unites himself with the Lord is one with him in spirit, flee from sexual immorality, um, Every other sin a man can commit 
is outside his body. But he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Do you not know that you are the body, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? So if if we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, right, um, then we need to conduct ourselves in, in a manner that he is glorified in. And, and I want to read something to you as well. In 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, uh, I've been using this uh, particular scripture uh, the last few days, but in 1 Peter chapter 1, and it says there in in uh, verse 13, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13, it says, Therefore, prepare your minds for actions, keep sober in spirit, fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Verse 14, As obedient children, do not be conformed to the former lust which, you, which were yours in in your ignorance but like the holy like the holy one who called you be holy yourself also in all your behavior because it is written you shall be holy for i am holy and here in this letter he tells us there in verse 15 he says be holy yourself also in all of your behavior. And I got to say, there is nothing holy about a woman who has uh, become one with a man who is pastoring a church. And while he's pastoring a church, his wife is making adult movies, sleeping around with other men and other women. And then they come together and they do teachings about the love of Christ. You know, where where do you go from there? How, how what what can someone really truly say? This is an abomination in the eyes of God, and they have people in their church. They have people that support them. They have people that subscribe to their YouTube channel. There are people that are saying that this is okay, and it's not. Now there might be people that may come and say things to me about what I am saying because of them. And, you know, you're not to judge and God is to judge and all of this other stuff. Well, the scriptures are right here, right in front of us. We don't, we don't need, we don't need to get into anything else, but scripture. That's what we really truly need to look at. It's not what someone has to say. It's what the word of God is saying. And first Corinthians Chapter 6, verse 9, it says, um, and we just read this, Do you not know, um, do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually moral, nor the idolaters, nor the idolater, idolaters, nor men who submit to the to or perform homosexual acts that is in first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 and second corinthians chapter 12 verse 21 it says i am afraid that when i come again my god will humble me before you and i will be grieved over many who have sinned earlier and have not repented of their acts of impurity sexual immorality and debauchery so this kind of lifestyle is leading somewhere. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The first part of that, of that verse is the wages of sin. So what a person chooses to live and how they choose to live their life in this world, if a person is going to live sinful, the wages of that, what you will reap from that is death. There is no room for this kind of behavior in the church, especially if it's going to be a person who is going to be leading a congregation. But yet we have 
this happening. Now, there's a lot of stuff out there that w many of us don't even know that's going on. This is just one of thousands upon thousands that are taking place. Now, I'm going to say this and you take it how you want, but the West is is the leading cause of many of this stuff that is going on throughout the world and in and, and, and the Christian world. It is. Many of these things originate from the Western world, from the U.S. It starts there. They discipline people. They equip people. They fill them with this garbage. And then they send them out into mission fields. And they send them out to other cities and other countries. And they go and they start teaching all of this stuff and all of these people because everyone has their eyes on the U.S. Even though the U.S. is the way that it is, people are still looking at the U.S., especially when it comes to Christianity. And so now you have a couple who are choosing to live this life who want to consider themselves pastors and preachers. And, you know, this poor guy is at home with his children. I don't know if he's got kids or not. And his wife is at work, sleeping around with all kinds of different people, different people all the time. Now, in part of, uh, of, of this video that we saw of her introducing who she is and that, um, she, that her husband is married to a porn star, one of the things that she says is she says that she is very busy in the industry that she's in. She is constantly always at work. Right? And this guy doesn't have a problem with it. There's something wrong. There's something wrong in the spirit. And this is a doctrine of demons. As Paul writes, he tells us in, in, in the book of Timothy, he tells us that, that many will walk away from the faith. They will abandon the faith and they will begin to be taught things that are taught by demons. And this kind of stuff is, is taking, um, taking its, its, its stand against righteousness and holiness and we, as the body of Christ, we need to start coming against this stuff because you know who th this is going to impact? It's going to impact our children. This is going to impact our children. And we need to cover our children and our families from this kind of life. Now, I got some other things that I, I definitely want to be able to show you guys Uh I wanted to make this video to expose this stuff and to let you guys know. Um, but there's a lot of other scriptures that definitely talk about many of this. Colossians 3 verse 5, it says, Put to death, therefore, the components of your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Right? And, and it just goes on and on and on and on. And so when we have these verses, they should, they should be active in our lives. These are things that we should be applying in our lives, that we are no longer a part of this world, but we are being transformed by the renewing of our mind. There's something uh, that I said not too long ago, and I posted it on Facebook. And many times, a lot of people like to say that Christians are brainwashed. And it's true. Because the moment we accepted Jesus Christ, our brains were washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I thank God that I am no longer have that stinking thinking in my head. I thank God that I don't think the way that I used to. I don't talk the way I used to. I don't do things the way I used to. I don't see things the way I used to. I don't walk the way I used to. I don't want to be a part of this life that I used to have. I want to live this life that Christ has prepared for me. I want to have the mind of Christ, and this is not it. 
But the devil definitely has a plan for me to go back. He's tempting me. He's trying to lure me. He's trying to deceive me. He's putting things in front of me all day long. And he's he doesn't stop. And we have to stay guarded. We got to be prayed up. And we got to know when the devil is coming and he's attacking more than ever before. I believe that things are going to get a lot more worse. In fact, they're, they're not going to get better. The only time they're going to get better is when Jesus Christ comes and raptures the church and we're long gone. That's it. We're out of here. We don't have to deal with it no more. We don't have to think about it no more. We don't have to struggle or fight against it no more. We are in a heavenly place with our Father. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But in the meantime, it's time to put on the whole armor of God and start to fight against this stuff. One of the videos that I'm going to be making next is witchcraft in the church. How witchcraft very, very much is alive in the church today. And uh, this is one of the videos that I'm definitely going to be making after this. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do show some support. Um, and if you like what you see and you like what you hear, smack that like button because it does help my channel to grow. Um, and if you want to know every time I post a video, make sure you hit that notifications button because it will let you know every single time I post a new video. Um, and also, if, if you guys want to connect with me and other platforms that I may be on, I'm on Facebook, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram. There's a bunch of other information that I have on there, uh, um, you know, things like that. So and if you guys want to be able to support us and help us in any way, uh, there's some information down there where you guys can help us out and support us. Uh, my children and I, we are on the mission field. And this is full time for me. I, I, I minister the word of God all day, every day. This is my job for the Lord. This is what I do. And, you know, I love what I do. And if you guys want to support us in any kind of way, all that information is on there. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, and again, look for, I, I look forward to posting the next video, letting you guys know about witchcraft. This is something that we definitely um, need to understand and know that witchcraft is very much alive today in our churches. And that video will be uh, a video that I'm going to be working on getting ready to post. But again, guys, I want to thank you guys for coming. Thank you for showing your support. Uh, and again, all the links are in the descriptions down below. I also want to be able to make some other videos. I know some people have been asking me uh, of the different kind of equipment that I use. I do have a guy who's been sponsoring me, uh, who, who sponsors me with lighting. Uh, I do want to make some uh, some videos to kind of show you my setup on how uh, some of these people have been helping me out to do what I do, along with many of the things that you see behind me. A lot of this stuff has been donated to me. It's been given to me. Um, the lighting has definitely helped out. Uh, and I want to be able to do this. So for, so for those of you that would like to start some kind of YouTube channel or something like that, I can make a video to kind of let you guys know some of the equipment that I use uh, and, and what is helping me to make the videos that I make here today. But again, guys, thank you guys so much. God bless you. And I will see you guys on the next video.